Greniker has been around since about 1934. We started out with plaster mannequins and around World War II, we started working in fiberglass. I'm Steve Beckman and I'm the president and COO of Greniker. In Los Angeles, we do 100% of our design and 100% of our pre-production work. When we were working in clay, it was a very long process to develop a line of custom mannequins. We would have to spend a great deal of time up front with the client trying to figure out what they were looking for, what poses were, what dimensions, what sizes. The armatures would be set up by hand, the sculpting would be done by hand in clay. We would bring the client in, then the sculptors would wrestle with the clay in front of the client. It would require several visits of the client on premises before we got an approval to move into the molding process to be in production. Before the client showed up, I would have to start from scratch, build a metal armature, clay up the full body. A lot of the time I would work late at night making all these adjustments and changes while people are in town so that they could see it the next day. We've now moved from clay sculpting to everything being 3D printed, which has helped us in a myriad of ways. The mannequins are created digitally now as opposed to in clay. So instead of having clients visit, we do video conferencing, which accelerates the initial consultation period greatly. Then we can do the sculpting again via video conferencing, and the client can sit across the country or across the world. And in real time, we can make those changes and those tweaks to make these pieces exactly what they're looking for. With 3D printing, we take the digital model and we'll produce a scaled model, usually about 18 inches tall. We can send that to the clients, and once we get the sign off at that point, then we produce a full-scale 3D print. Another advantage of 3D printing is if you do something in clay, you do it by hand, you can't necessarily repeat that. The symmetry feature on, you know, you're sculpting a head, you can just work on one side and it automatically does the same thing on the other side. Before working in clay, we'd have to try to make you know adjustments on the, you know which ear is higher, or are the eyes straight. If I have a large project and I have three sculptors working on it, because it's three sets of hands, it may not look identical. With the digital design, we don't have to worry about that. The design is the design, and you can move it, change it, scale it, but it's always the base design. Right now, we've just finished realizing our first set of goals with 3D printing. Our future goals, we're gonna bring in as many printers as it takes to be absolutely as fast to market as we can be. We wanna stay ahead of our competition. When I started, we would create lines based on, you know, it really, the spaghetti on the wall. It's our best guess of what was going to sell. Um, we don't have to do that anymore.